Do you have a Cricut and maybe you need to make a little bit of extra money? Well, today I'm going to show you five quick and easy DIYs using the Cricut that you can sell at a craft fair that are so budget friendly for you that are really going to pack a punch and give you a bang for your buck. For those of you that are new to the world of Cricut, Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create and personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with a software called Cricut Design Space that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. It's just that simple. Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, mm-hmm, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I'm partnering with Cricut to bring you five quick and easy DIYs that are so budget friendly to make that can really help to bring you some extra cash if you wanna sell them at a craft fair. These are quick and easy DIYs that really pack a punch that are really gonna give you more bang for that buck that you're trying to make at a craft fair. I can't wait to show you these easy DIYs using items that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some budget-friendly DIYing using our Cricut so we can make some extra money. Let's get to it. Dollar Tree's got these, what I'm gonna call a pleather tote bag or purse in three different colors. The beige, pink, and this black. These are perfect for personalizing. They're a blank canvas. So that's what we're gonna do in Cricut Design Space. You're gonna go onto your blank canvas and on the side here, you've got a bunch of different options. I'm gonna use the image option here and click on that. When you click on that, it's gonna bring up all of the images that are available to you in Cricut Design Space with your membership and there are some free ones as well. I wanna use this Make Something You Love image. I think that this is a fun one and it's a free one, so it's available to everybody. So I'm gonna click on it. Once I click on it, you're gonna see down here at the bottom that this is what I want to insert into my canvas. You can insert several different images if you want and they're gonna appear there. I'm gonna click add to canvas. You can see it's here in my canvas. This arrow here allows you to size your image. How cool is that? If you want a specific size, you're gonna go up to the top and you can input it in the width or the height. I need 5.5 inches to be exact to fit on this tote. So just by typing that in, I've got it. The heart in this image is double layered. I don't need both of them. So the eye over here, if you just click on it, it'll exit out and then it's not gonna be cut. I just wanna cut the red one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click make it cause I'm ready to go. Just by clicking make it, because I'm using my Explorer 3, it gives me the option of cutting it with or without a mat. I'm gonna use with a mat. If you use without, you're gonna need the smart vinyl. I've got regular vinyl on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. Once I've clicked on mat, I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And from there, it's gonna bring up our images and you will see that because we're using two different colors, there are two different mats, so you're gonna have to have two different cuts. And from here, I just click continue. Because I'm using a mat, the mat I prefer to use is the blue mat. This is a light grip mat. And so I feel like it makes taking your vinyl on and off the mat easier. And so, yes, when using your mat, you can take off this clear protective film, but I like to keep it and put it back on once I'm done with my mat to prolong the life of my mat, keep the lint off of it. The vinyl that I'm using today is this brown vinyl by Cricut. I wanted to go with brown because I've got a baby that's coming here in the future, not me. 
not Ray and Kayla, but Jason and Evelyn, my adopted son. And so I'm going to go with Peach and Brown. My Cricut is now prompting me to load the mat. I'm going to go ahead and load it just like so. The Cricut's going to do its thing, get the mat all measured out. It's going to decide if it's using the 12 or the 24 inch mat. Once it knows what size mat it's using, it is then going to prompt you to press play, which is start, and it will start your cut. Today, I'm using my new Cricut Explore 3. This is a brand new version of Cricut's most popular cutting machine. The Cricut Explorer combines the power of a professional machine with the simplicity of Cricut. And now, the Explorer 3 is even smarter and faster than ever. Let me dive in and tell you just a little bit about some of the features that this incredible machine has to offer. Some of the key differences between the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and the new Cricut Explorer 3 is the speed, the cut length, and the ability to cut using some of the new smart materials without a mat, which is amazing. The Cricut Explorer Air 2 is limited to a 12 by 24 mat size for cutting, but the new Cricut Explorer 3 can cut at lengths up to 12 feet long using the new smart materials. This machine is incredible. Once it's done cutting, those arrows are going to blink, letting you know that it is safe to go ahead and unload your mat. And you can see that it has worked its magic. It's cut the vinyl. Now, because there's two different colors, I went ahead and added a two by two inch red square at the other end just to kind of make it quicker and easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat again and let it work its magic again, cutting out my heart. Once your vinyl is cut, you do need to do what we call weeding, and that is removing the excess vinyl from around your cut, which is pretty easy to do. You just kind of want to take your time. I have found that this poker tool really works best with trying to keep uh, your cut down on the mat when you're pulling all that excess vinyl off. And I will say that I find it easier to weed my vinyl on the mat. And I also find it easier when adding the transfer tape to add it while it's on the mat as well. It just kind of makes it easier when you're using the scraper to actually get your vinyl to stick to the transfer paper. And just like that, our vinyl decal is ready to be put on our fake leather, what we call pleather purse. This makes it so stinking adorable. It is so easy to add a vinyl to something as simple as this tote or purse that you can get at Dollar Tree for $1.25 just by taking your scraper tool and going over the transfer paper and slowly peeling it up, your vinyl will stick to this. There is no need to use a heat vinyl on this. I really don't even know how this pleather would take to heat. And so it wasn't something that I even wanted to attempt. Using regular vinyl works just great. You will see, however, that the word you is missing, or maybe you didn't see it and I just pointed it out, but I will tell you that from time to time, I do have an oops, and when I was weeding my vinyl, I ripped the you. So instead of cutting out a full vinyl, I just went ahead and proceeded on with putting my vinyl onto the transfer tape and just using the slice tool in Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go ahead and just slice out the word you and recut it using a piece of scrap vinyl that I have. Look at how amazing that turned out. It took this from being just a dollar tree tote to an adorable tote that has been personalized with a fun little saying on it. You can really get creative with what you put on these. You can personalize them with names if you really want to. These are most definitely the items that I feel people snatch up at craft fairs. This next super quick and easy craft fair DIY that I'm bringing to you is using these oil and vinegar bottles. You can find these at Dollar Tree. This DIY is as simple as just going into Cricut Design Space 
typing out whatever oil or vinegar it is that you want to fill your bottle with in whatever font it is that you want to use. Cricut Design Space, the access subscription, has so many fonts that are available to you, so you pick one that you like and you use it. You cut it out in just a regular premium vinyl. You want to use a premium permanent vinyl so your decal stays on your jar. And once you put it on that jar, you have gotten an adorable personalized oil jar. I did this DIY for myself and I wanted all of the oils that I use that I have in my cabinet on display on my counter. And so I think if this is something that you're gonna do for a craft fair, you should most definitely display a picture of how you used it and that will make people see it and wanna emulate it. Next up, I'm using these condiment bottles. Two come in a pack. You can find these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Two for $1.25 is a great buy. I picked up four of them because these are great for space savers in your refrigerator. And I am all about saving space these days and reorganizing things. And so instead of having several different sized bottles, if you put your condiments into a bottle like these, you'd be surprised how much space it saves in your refrigerator. So I went ahead and typed up the condiments that I use. If you're doing this for a craft fair, you might want to add barbecue sauce. Who knows, you might want to do several different salad dressings. Maybe I say get creative. These are the ones that I use the most. And so I went ahead, found a font that I liked. And once I cut it out in the vinyl and put it on my transfer tape here i can go ahead and adhere it to the bottle and because this is a permanent vinyl if i hand wash this this vinyl is going to stay on and i can refill it as many times as i want to how fun is that and these are perfect for say a party or a barbecue or if you're an rver and you go camping this is another great way to space safe in those small refrigerators that your RV has. How about a baby blanket? You can find these fleece blankets at Dollar Tree in several colors. This peach one was screaming my name. So for this, we're gonna need heat transfer vinyl. So you're gonna go into Cricut Design Space and on your blank canvas, I'm gonna go over to the side here and under images, I'm gonna search for an image that I want to put on my blanket. Now, I already know that I wanna look for baby bunny because I already looked before I did the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in baby bunny. And this image is so stinking adorable. It just screamed my name because Easter is coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my canvas by clicking on it. And again, you'll see it at the bottom here. And just by adding to canvas, it's gonna bring it onto our canvas that is no longer blank. Now this has several different colors on it and that's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna go into color sync and I am going to move all of my pieces to one color to make them one color. Once I've done that, I don't want this to cut in several different pieces. I want to weld it together so it cuts in one solid color and in one solid piece. Once you press continue, your mat's gonna show up. You will see this tab here that says mirror. We don't want our heat transfer to be in its correct form. You want to mirror image it so it is backwards. So when you place it on whatever item it is that you're adhering it onto, it comes out in its correct form, just as you see here. So you're gonna place your heat vinyl flat down onto your blanket so the plastic is up. Once you've got it in the position that you want it in, you're gonna take a medium to high heat iron or your Cricut heat press if you have one and you're just gonna run over your vinyl for about 10 to 15 seconds, maybe a bit longer. You don't want it to melt. You don't wanna keep it in one spot too long because you just don't want it to melt. While it's warm with Cricut's vinyl, you can go ahead and pull up that transfer tape while it's hot and it will come up a bit easy. You just wanna go slow and make sure that all of your letters and images are adhered onto whatever it is you're adhering it onto. So in my case, it was this blanket and look at how cute this blanket is. This is a great quality blanket for $1.25 that I think would make a perfect addition to a craft fair. 
and somebody's gonna see it and wanna buy one for a baby shower. Another fun item that I think would sell great at a craft fair is a sleep mask. Those seem to be all the rage right now. It's a blank canvas. Dollar Tree has a ton of these for $1.25. When using heat vinyl, I should tell you that there is a shiny side and a dull side. When placing your heat vinyl on your mat, you wanna place that shiny side down and the matte side up. I will tell you that I actually really like weeding heat vinyl because it's super easy to weed. And again, when you are weeding it, you will see that your lettering is backwards because it is heat vinyl. We had to mirror image our wording or our image. So when we place our wording, in my case, on our blank face mask, it is in its correct form ready to be transferred because it is heat transfer. So we just need to run our heat over this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And voila, we have just personalized an adorable face mask with such a fun saying that rings true in my life, eat, sleep, and create. That is the story of my life. I feel like if you're somebody who has a Cricut, why not utilize it to help make yourself some extra money by doing some simple, quick and easy DIYs like this that really don't cost much to do, but when you take them to a craft fair, it could really add to your income and bring you in some extra money. Craft fairs are fun. Who doesn't love going to a craft fair and picking up some handmade, homemade items? Something like this would be perfect to add to a spa gift basket or to even add if you're giving somebody a spa gift card. Simple DIYs, right? If you've got a Cricut, why not pull it out and use it and make some items and go sell them at a craft fair and make some extra money. I think that being an entrepreneur is really what it's all about and that is definitely something that I encourage everybody to do. If you don't have a Cricut and you're kind of on the fence on whether you should get one or not, it is definitely hands down one of my favorite crafting tools to use and so I highly recommend it. I hope you all enjoyed today's five quick and easy DIYs using your Cricut that are so budget friendly and can definitely help you increase your income if you sell them at a craft fair. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and mm -hmm, it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. And you know what else I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, and bye for now.